A few raindrops couldn't keep spring breakers away from Manzanita Beach Monday. Just being able to be out here and not like having to go to school and just having fun with like my family and my dogs. And while beach goers are enjoying the view, the power and potential danger of the waves are right alongside them. The ocean does crazy things. I've been in there and almost got swept away when I was a kid, when I was a teenager, when I'm an adult. It could be it could be a scary, a scary thing. On Saturday afternoon, the Halem Bay Fire and Rescue says that woman was sitting on a large driftwood log when a sneaker wave hit, crushing her in the process. You know, you're talking about a several ton log rolling across you. It'd be like, uh, you know, rolling uh, dough out on a you know, a table. I mean, a, a, your body can't sustain that kind of weight. The woman who was injured Saturday is Heather Karasam. Her husband Joe tells us she broke 13 ribs in multiple places. She also suffered a lot of bruising and is still in the ICU. He says this photo was taken just a minute or two before the wave came up. All four people in the photo were in its path and were knocked over. And this is the largest driftwood, really, that I've seen. So I was surprised that the logs were so big and could could pose a danger. They're called sneaker waves because they appear without warning, often surging high up on the beach with deadly force, and they're impossible to predict. But Chief Sherbaugh says there's always that possibility, and that's why they say you must always be watching the waves. At any time, a larger wave could come in, knock you down. I've seen people get knocked down and swept out. Uh, if you're anywhere near a log, uh, it only takes a few inches of water to cause that log to start moving around and, and rolling about in the surf. And while some logs might seem small, they can be waterlogged and weigh tons. So if you see a log in the surf or on wet sand, stay off it. You should never turn your back on the ocean. Oregon Parks and Rec also really stresses the importance of keeping an eye on your kids while you're out at the beach. They're also warning people about rip currents. If you do find yourself in a rip current, they say don't panic. Swim parallel to the beach until you can get out and then head for the beach. We're going to have more tips for you to keep your spring break safe. You can find that at KGW.com. Live along the Oregon coast, Brittany Falkers, KGW News.